Speak on my phones? I do now, yeah. I threatened him like he has never been threatened before. And the big question, whether he'll run again for president in 2024. I think people are going to be happy. You might even be happy. Celebrity Apprentice TV show in 2008, and I did, well, modestly speaking, rather well. Piers, you're a vicious guy. I've seen it. We can try and dispute it. You can try and dispute it. You're tough. You're smart. You're probably brilliant. I'm not sure. You're certainly not diplomatic. But you did an amazing job, and you beat the hell out of everybody. Pierce, you're the celebrity <laughs> apprentice. He even gave his thoughts on me walking off a certain TV show. If it's you against Joe Biden, if you win the Republican nomination again, and he runs again, would you beat him? Uh, I believe right now anybody, I think you could beat him right now. Same I think poor Harry is being led around by his nose, mm -hmm. and I think he's an embarrassment. I thought you overreacted, by the way. Well, I'll tell you what happened. I so mean, the guy, the guy was a stiff. I've interviewed him dozens of times since then, including on three occasions since he won the presidency. We generally get on pretty well, mutual respect, even a touch of affection. But this time was very different. Minutes before our interview at Trump's estate and home in Mar-a-Lago and Palm Beach in Florida, a truly dramatic moment. Trump was sent this dossier. This is the actual thing. Of the worst things I'd said about him in the two years since his dire handling of the coronavirus pandemic and even more dire refusal to accept losing the 2020 election, which sparked a deadly riot at the US Capitol. The dossier was sent to Trump by a treacherous little weasel called Nigel, working for a little watch TV network somewhere in the UK in an attempt to sabotage this interview, a sneaky plot that was to spectacularly backfire. These are just some of those quotes, and keep in mind that he summons me to his office and read them to me very slowly with increasing menace in his eyes. Trump's a supreme narcissist. His pathetic antics have been utterly contemptible. He's now acting like a mafia mob boss. President Trump needs to be removed from office. 